Kojo, Meat. I need Caesar to pull a Caesar won the fucking uh, jazzy, jazzy hands. hands. Yeah. Caesar won jazzy hands. Jazz hands. That's okay, that good hair. Good. <laughs> That's the good hair right there. He has the best hair. Like, it's just, I'm so jealous. I have good <laughs> hair. I wish I had curls like that. Don't look at, don't, I knew he was going to do that shit. Don't look at my hair after I say I got good hair. <laughs> I didn't even at open my the, mouth, dude. Nah, no, 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 no. Y'all know how that tech goes. Back. Y'all know how that tech goes. At least he was going to look at me and then say something. At least he has <laughs> He was going to look at me and then say something because that's what he does. Anyway, hello. I know, right? Welcome. Yeah. Butthole lip bitch. Welcome, no. man. Butthole no. lips. Bro, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> handsome as fuck. <laughs> Not without that mustache. <laughs> Your shirt makes me think of what Vincent said earlier. Bro, this right here. <laughs> this is this this shirt, the, bro. The Yo, dryer. Just imagine. Just a Pikachu. Ryan Reynolds Pikachu with oh, Mika. Pika, <laughs> Pika, Pool. Hey, guys. Pika Welcome to TSN TV. TSN TV. Linda's, uh, she actually made it. She made it this week. Yeah, she made it this week. I did. I'm surprised. I really feel like me and Matt do everything, and then she just, like, comes when it's, like, Convenient. It's Linda. I'm, I'm Linda. <laughs> it comes when it's convenient. Hey, Linda. I do the production side of standing there and staring at you guys when you standing do the Standing and staring at us. Yeah, fun <laughs> facts, guys. I actually have never contributed anything to the show. No, I, of course not. He no. said that. He said it. I have never contributed that. anything. <laughs> I actually don't I mean, even you, know why. You I'm brought here. me here. That that's that's all you needed to do, right? I didn't even do that this week. <laughs> that, yep. So who made the event page for the first Street Fighter Arcade Edition? At Neil's bar. Was that you? Me. Okay, well, she brought me here, so. <laughs> <laughs> so All of them pages. She, 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 she brought me here. Uh, so, um. Okay. This week, all the wonderful things that happened, including our new segment, which we will talk about um, a little bit later on, the hilarious the hilarious segment. I think that's probably the best idea that that these two have come up with. I mean, me and Quali, you know, that's what we do, man. Yeah, and honestly. then I named it because you know I'm the name guy. Yes. You are the name, you are the name guy. person. He's the name guy. So he, he, yeah, <laughs> We're bro. really bad at names. So look, you can so tell by my, my handle. I'm really John. scared about this movie yeah, that's I coming still out. Understand it. I feel like that if, if this movie comes out and this movie, like, fucks up, then then it's not going to pave the, 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 the right way for this movie to happen. So show us the Detective Ryan Reynolds. I think it's going to be I, good. I have not seen this trailer yet. I guys. actually think it's going to be good. I haven't Ryan seen it. Yet. I haven't seen it, too, so I'm kind of curious. Right. I hear nothing. Good. It's better that way. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> they, the the viewers can. Dude, walking down an alley. Ryan Reynolds <laughs> down an alley. <laughs> and he's not dead. Now he's dreaming. <laughs> now he's walking again. You wanted to be a Pokemon trainer when you were young. Oh, yeah, snap. Really you want it to be out. a Pokemon trainer. And they get the, like, the, the typical Asian Isn't old there? dude who plays, like, all the old Asian parts. Whoever you are. He's, like, the new Mr. Miyagi, the dude this. that played Miyagi all those years. Whoever you are, oh, I have a stapler. Oh, it's so cute. Me, but put down the stapler or I will electrocute you. Uh, yeah. Did you just talk? Whoa. Did you just understand me? Oh my god, you can understand me. That's the interesting aspect that I think about the movie, to be honest with you, is that for once someone can like let 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 adorable. You're adorable. They can't understand me, kid. No one else here it I'm telling you, it, it, it's, it's a dis it's a different take on what I think. Uh, everybody would have wanted, but I think this is what we We're need if they tastefully we pulled need. it off. And to be honest, you know, Ryan Reynolds is way better than Mila Jovovich, so uh, I have a little bit more confidence in this movie than I do the Monster Hunter movie already, if that's saying something. Do you guys think that those Greninjas were nerfed? Yeah. Or <laughs> mine. Yeah. So tell us what we want to know. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, this is okay. apparently freaking people out about like it's how realistic show. like Mr. Mime it's looks okay, and it's also it's how it's psycho okay. he looks at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> this movie would be Might reflect differently. No, I think it's actually going to be a good film for adults too. Like I'm actually intrigued. I feel like it is an adult. Yeah, like, I'm going to actually try and go see this in theater. All right, no, so we should definitely do right, a review for this. And this is coming from this Matt, weird. the guy that does not this like. This is weird. 
Um, <laughs> Look, I'd rather watch this than than Will Smith be genie. Okay, that's I, where we're going with I, this. I okay? gotta say, like this this movie reminds me a lot of uh, like that fan project. Uh, uh, live action Pokemon movie that like they did a trailer for maybe a year a year and a half ago it's when IGN did the April Fool thing right was that an IGN thing um, it could I, definitely could have been I know they did one with like Legend of Zelda that was supposed to be like super realistic but that was definitely an April Fool's thing by IGN so uh I don't know who keeps putting these out, but they're putting a damn a well, lot of this, effort into it, them. I, this yeah, is I mean, a real it, one. It looks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They put a lot of effort into this one because it is actually a feature film. I'm, I'm this ready. This is the most effort. My I'm, whole, I am ready. I like the fur. All being I like how you can hardcore. see the fur and everything on the Pokemon, man. It's it makes just, it kind oh, of like, really realistic. Yeah. It's yeah. just, and, jar- it's the, just jarring to me, just because, like you know, I've never seen this before. Yeah, I know, well, and I think that's why there, I, uh, I, there, I'm ready for it. There have been a lot of projects that people have done of like realistic Pokemon. You see those out there like all the time now, and that's kind of what this looks like. Um, it looks a lot less nightmare fuel, but <laughs> 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 Bro, except oh for Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime does look. Oh, Mr. Mime is definitely cringeworthy. Yeah. Like that guy. I hope we only get about like five minutes of screen time. That's right. probably even too long as well, but. Shorten it. Shorten I it. Kids like, are gonna have nightmares. I feel like, but that's how it would be. Like if they were real, like some of these things would be fucking creepy. Like you'd be like, ugh. Oh yeah, like if you saw like a, a real life like uh, a like Gengar, S- Scythar, a uh, Scythar. Oh no, so Scyther. Yep, yeah, he's, he's done, guys. <laughs> yeah, that Even that would, would be that would be crazy. And giant Mr. scissor head, giant Edward Green there's, scissor there's head. There's no bro. way to not make Mister Mime look creepy. Like he's always gonna, he's just a little he's a little dude. No, hold on. No. That's like think th- about this, dude. First gen Pokemon, <laughs> some of them are like not very Jinx. creative, right? Jinx. What, Mister yeah. Mister? A oh short my God. little opera singing, ice wielding. Yeah, that one would black face. <laughs> that's yeah. that's racist too. I, by the way, I Jinx wonder if racist. there even will be a Jinx in there because I, that's black face. You you. That's this definitely, definitely black face. Could be an offensive topic. Mister like, Mind. If it's not executed if Mr. well, Mind gets flagged. For um, uh, if uh, Mr. Game and Watch gets flagged for this Indian stuff, then Jinx will definitely get flagged uh, look, for blackface. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm like, saying, there's no look, way he, that they no. So go Detective so, Pikachu. So moving in, back into the movie, I think it'd be really, I think it's really cool that like you know, you know, this is gonna be the first like feature film where concepts of Pokemon like are like a real thing that you know movie magic is gonna be put into this for real. Like it's gonna be interesting to see like. A lot of Pokemon be used in like a lot of aspects. Like you're gonna see like you know Charmander and then and Bulbasaur running around. In yeah, this, heard of Bulbasaur, dude. In the, that in was this, cool. In this movie, I already have the hard read. They're gonna do a sequence with like either the ghost or psychic Pokemon, where both of these two have to go into some freaky house or alleyway. Or, I'm or, ready well, let's for some, it though. Let, let's it's get like a nice Luigi's. Lavender Town remix, dude. Yeah. Yo, it's like Luigi's Mansion, but with Pokemon, <laughs> like in <and laughs> real life. Like yeah. I'm kind of ready for that. Yeah. I need to see my boy Gengar on the big screen. Yeah, all, like, all that'll all, make I'm, my... I'm excited about it. I just yes. I don't see? know what you were about to say, but... I need to see I'm my boy on screen. Make That's your, it. I'm just surprised. Your day. It's, it's going to make your day. I'm it's going to make my pokey day. It's taking them, <laughs> yeah. to, like, taking them to make a movie like this. Too, I mean, like. it's, it's hilarious. And they've like, kept this under wraps for so long because yeah. I haven't heard any leaks or anything about, hey, man, there's going to be a Pokemon movie. Nobody. The internet has not gone crazy at all. The and then we just get this trailer and it's like, is this real? Like, yeah. The thing that got me was the voice, though. Like, I just don't really feel like the voice it's Pikachu. Like it was. You know rumor, it was I actually rumored to be Danny DeVito before it was Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> that's that's what? Just like, that, it's just not Danny Pikachu's De- personality. Oh no! It, no. If, it, okay. So if you had given me the choice between Ryan Reynolds and Danny DeVito, no, Ryan Reynolds every day. Ryan Reynolds all day. <laughs> I, I okay? didn't. I didn't think I was gonna like it because it sounds like a weird idea. But like once I saw Pikachu talking, I'm kind of on board with it. See what I'm yeah. saying? And it's different, man. And they have like and they kept it under me. the radar. I think it's actually going to be a surprisingly good movie, and I think Aladdin's think probably going to suck depending <laughs> on how much genie time. Oh my we god! Get oh my god! Screen. All right, so we're not talking about Aladdin. This, this movie going to make two hundred million Aladdin. regardless. So, yo, yeah. I need yeah. them to come out with a special Pokemon card for this, like they did for like the old animated Look, Pokemon. You can, oh, you can expect. I need that. I can, need that. I need a Ryan Reynolds Pikachu. I need a Detective <laughs> Pikachu card. 
I need a detective Pikachu. You can expect. That would be you can dope. expect either. I need it. Come red. On, you can expect Red, Gary, Ash, Brock, Misty, Nurse Joy, Officer Jenny. You can expect so, all well, the boys. You can expect one of these characters Yo, to on. make a cameo. How is Brock in this gonna movie? look though? How can they put Brock in this movie? They would probably that's make super him racist. Samoan. I would say, like, Brock is going to be played can't by. Be, he can't so, be so I, He's Japanese. I think, like, it feels like there's not going to be like there's too many elements from like the Pokemon, Pokemon yeah, games just, or uh, anime. World. Yeah, this is just self-contained world, yeah, kind of like, like MCU style. It's right? just, it's really yeah. weird that this is this is the w the direction that they decided to take the first live-action well, Pokemon. Well, I feel like this is a safe way for them to do it. So like this is the best way that they could do it without really upsetting a lot of people. So because they've been seeing did, a lot of backlash yeah, for if doing you stuff were like to this have wrong, like Ash or Pe uh, or like Misty, and you casted them wrong, you would get a lot of hate from people. So uh, I that's feel a like really good. Look at the Monster Hunter yeah. movie and Mila Jovovich. I mean Jovovich. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Like, so, I mean, but when it comes to that Monster Hunter movie, though, they're going hardcore on those costumes. They're actually, like, trying to stay very authentic to the outfits and everything. Military <laughs> uniform. The movie looks it gross. It looks like crap. Let's move on. Let's <laughs> they're move. driving around Talking in a fucking about desert. about Banjo's childhood. Did you guys see Toy Story 4 trailer? How do you know this is my childhood? Because, I mean, Matt and I are too old. What? I'm just fucking with you guys. Nah, that, Toy that Story 4 the is, is like, no one's childhood. It's not out yet. We gotta check it out. I haven't seen this trailer either. I haven't seen yeah, this you trailer. Did you never watch Toy Story growing up, Vince? <laughs> no. <laughs> you got a friend. What a liar! I've I've never seen Toy you Story. You got a friend. You're, I don't me. I don't believe that. When the road looks. <laughs> you, know, guys, you, you believe you believe, what you, you believe what you want. You believe what you want. I want to see how they're gonna follow up the last one that was pretty fucking good yeah, for a childhood. Cause cause <laughs> I can't, like... Well, you got free. Oh, oh, man, I should have worn my shoes. <laughs> <which cabbage patch. laughs> I'm trying to watch the damn trailer. my view master before I knock the dimples off your face. Oh! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, you didn't. You don't even care, man. Hey, you are a I don't care bear. You know It's really king of Oh, man. Bro, yeah. you I see the new movie trailer for what? You ain't seen it. See what? You ain't seen that. You ain't seen that trailer. Hey, hey, Ron. No, I thought those movies were done, dog. They made three movies. They did make three movies. This is number four. Oh shoot! Oh, Yo, they show me. Why? Why does this feel story. like yeah, Monsters yeah, Inc. Toy what Story what about like fusion kind of thing going on here? Space Ranger. Yo, I love this. I love that this is a riff on a Key and Peele sketch. Yeah, exactly. To infinity and your mom. <laughs> and your mom? Yeah. That's not right. You sure? No, that's not right. I'm pretty sure that's it. No, 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 let me show you. To insanity and a blonde. What do you even That's how it goes. Saying? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, I mean, that kind of goes hand in hand, right? Song. Blondes and being insane. And hey, hey, guys. You got it all wrong. It's to infinity and beyond. <laughs> 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 so I wonder, like, okay, I have questions. All right, I'll wait. I'll wait. You don't go beyond infinity. You don't know nothing about science. You don't know nothing about science. Okay. I think, like, bro. So are we gonna get Woody and Buzz and Key and Pill? So Woody and Buzz are in the movie, but like Key and Peel are also in the movie. So wait, who's gonna be the stars then? Oh. It's Toy Story, so it's gonna be them. But I'm assuming they're gonna be like cameos. Key and Peele is just the it's just the side dish. But you know, mm. I, 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 I really feel like with with two two actors like that, they're like so big. They they could they could be trying to transition the franchise into like different characters because you know. So we don't pay attention yeah, to Woody well, and Buzz well, as much anymore. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Tom I'm Hanks and, and them are not going to be around to do the parts forever. Like, they're I'm not, not going to feel like doing those parts. I'm not going to say that they're going to try to, like, take over the franchise, but this is just, like... A fresh a, spin. No, the, yeah, every movie needs a comedy stick, and what better comedy stick than, than Key, Key and Peele? Peele. For kids. For, especially for kids. Yeah. You know if it goes over well, there's going to be a spinoff movie, though. Oh, yeah, easily. Uh, That's probably uh, what they're uh, setting up for. They're probably already doing voice acting for the spin-off movie right it's now. Worth, it's, worthy right, of a, it's worthy of a Pixar short, which takes less money, and you can put it in everything. So this was the second trailer to come out, right? Yeah. Like there was yes. another trailer. I didn't watch the first one. This is actually the first time. I haven't this. watched either one. Well, yeah. we just watched that one. But, yeah. yeah uh, I'll watch the second one when I go home. Yeah. yeah. The first one, I guess. Yeah, you do I that hope on it's a little time. bit more yeah. immersive. You don't do that here. I don't do that here. You don't do that here. You do that I on mean, your own honestly, time. I mean, honestly, I feel... I get <laughs> the trailers that are given to me, and that's the only I, thing. I feel like you... I don't know. The third one... 
the third one, one man the really third dark. one so yeah let's talk about it, was, that. it wasn't the third one wasn't really dark the third one because i'm a new gen the third one like lined up exactly it ended the way it like that real. series is, was supposed to because like to, eerily enough that ended the toy story 3 came out when i graduated from high school and i was about to go to college just like how andy graduated from high school and he was about to go to college so it was just like i know right so it was like super like bro this is actually like cry? some i did that was the most terrible. That was that was the most like heart aching shit I have ever watched in a movie, to be honest with you. Because it's just like this whole. Movie. It was just like this whole like um, this whole parallel about letting go and you know like moving on and leaving your childhood behind and things like that. I and mean, we all got to do that. So yeah, it was a nice just, way to yeah. to help kids also realize that too. That at one time, you know, there there was some story and some moral in that movie. Yeah. So I think that's why. Rebooting it and giving it a fresh coat of paint for a newer generation, yeah. right? Like, yeah. well, that's and that's exactly what it's gonna be. Yeah. Toy not to mention, story, not, not to mention, you know, Disney. Is, not, not to mention, you know, Disney's always hurting for money since they always be releasing bullshit anyway. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> hey, am no. I like, Nutcracker in the Four Seasons? Were you really gonna pay money for that? No, I, I'll wait till it comes out for free. <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely check it out. I, I know some people have, that were going to yeah, pay money for that. I have friends that are like legit excited about that movie. No, I'm good. People like the Nutcracker, man. No, they just like no, the, they the way that Pe the animation they, looks. They call it nutting, dude. Oh, <laughs> people like to nut. People like to nut, dude. Like the owl, okay. like the they owl. They out, bro. Like, like, what the? like owls through the looking glass and, and the Lone Ranger and uh. Yo, some of those owls in Wonderland story, movies man. were pretty good. What was that, John? What was that, John? Uh, that movie where that man went to Mars? John Wick. No, not John <laughs> fucking Wick. Uh, <laughs> it was John they, something, bro. They like kidnapped his dog and sent it to space. Bro, it, it was. It was <laughs> bro, it was. Yo, a, I need a John Wick space movie like that. <laughs> every like franchise, every <laughs> franchise that gets enough sequels goes to space. space. Yeah, Jason oh, yeah. goes to space. No, like, <laughs> every Jason, franchise. Jason goes to John space. John Wick needs to go to space. Jason yeah. goes to space. Oh, like, so Muppets went to space. <laughs> Freddy didn't. No, he. That's too bad. I just. Uh, that would have been. Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, no, he did actually, say he actually. wants to make another movie, so let's go. Can, space. <laughs> can we just like combine that into like a Doom reboot? Space Jam. So it's like John Wick in Doom. <laughs> With what? Freddy Krueger. I would watch that, dude. He goes I think to a Freddy Krueger has to be somewhere in there if we're doing this. I think John Wick would soon to be in a Fortnite movie than an actual Doom movie. He's well, like I mean, he's building already, shit. And like he's already a skin me. in the game. Yeah. So, I yeah. mean, like, I think he and you can get a doggy backpack, which makes that a meme <laughs> yeah. instantly. So. Uh, yeah, also, uh, isn't John Wick in Payday? Uh, Payday 2? I think he um, is. Somebody, somebody made a cameo in Payday 2. Which, but <laughs> I digress. I feel like, you know, Sorry, I think this sequel doesn't hurt nor doesn't hurt the franchise at all. I think it's a good addition. I think no, it'll be pretty I, cool. I think it's, you know, it's called Toy, Toy Story for a reason. Toy Story has had a movie that was less favorable in Toy Story 2, but it still by no means was a bad movie. So, you know what I'm saying? I think this would be a nice fresh coat of paint. I think just like the Grinch movie. I think it's, it's just yeah. something it's, new. It's, it's just refreshing the series. Uh, giving it a new look and something different to talk about. Yes, yeah, so this was a totally necessary sequel. Yeah, I oh yeah, 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 definitely. Necessary. Gotta gotta loop up with that. Stop that because if they made another Evil Dead movie, I would watch it. Uh, yeah, yeah, Vince. Yeah, Vince. I will. I will tell by, you this. By Sam Raimi, did, you wouldn't I watch it. I did not it? like the Evil Dead uh, TV show. I hated. I didn't. The TV show. Um, it was a. It was it, overly hit, campy. It's, it's hit or miss, dude. Yeah. It's because of the revolving uh, directors and writers. Like every every episode has a different director, yeah. different writer. So it's. Oh, no. um, <laughs> oh, I agree. Oh no. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, like um, like if there was an Evil Dead movie by Sam Raimi, like Evil Dead Three, instead of Army of Darkness, he'd be like, oh, yeah, you Vince. Speak yeah, I would see it. Talking? Speaking of I trying to, yeah. About speaking of, stuff. yeah, speaking of bringing stuff back from the dead, uh, this mm -hmm. console's gonna suck. <laughs> it's not gonna suck. Damn. I'm gonna tell you why it's not gonna suck. You go Absolutely first. Absolutely firing shots. I'm, uh, I'm gonna straight up say I'm not because buying it. it's another way for me to play Final Fantasy VII all over again. Really? So. <sighs> I never need another reason <laughs> to play the game. You, you, you can get it on PlayStation. Though. I know. I, I have it on PlayStation, Vita? but I need it in the PlayStation. Okay, Classic look. Too. Okay, so I have a list of the games that are gonna be yeah, on this. Yeah, get us with those games because I'm not buying this. Yo, Apex Odyssey wait. is Actually, on there. Let, let me just let me just play this trailer as it's got all oh, the games in it. Trailer, yeah, huh? I'm in there. Go ahead and hit me with it. You know, gonna all buy. it's gonna do is just upset me. 
20 preloaded games. We Ooh. only get 20? Maybe, oh, Grand Theft Auto 2? Maybe five them That's are good. one. <laughs> oh. You know what this reminds me of? Yo, what's this? That's Ridge, that's Ridge, yeah, that was Ridge so Racer. That, the, okay. the, the choice to include Ridge Racer is it's, it's a good decision. Oh, Not is that Metal Gear Solid? Yes. Yes. Mm. Twisted Metal? Yes. Yeah, Twisted Metal is good. I'm down. I <laughs> New and tasty. I love it. This reminds me of those little uh, Yo, systems Rayman? you would get for Christmas. They had preloaded games that you would never play. You're like, thanks, family, for buying me this. Yo, old Tekken? <laughs> oh, the games on the demo disc? <laughs> Yo, those are great. Like, PlayStation oh, like, Now disc that had, oh, yeah. like, all of the fucking... Like those little fake consoles, and then they would come with, Yo, like, is this SSX? Nah, that's uh, Cool Borders. Oh, well, that's Final Fantasy VII. VII. Yep, yep, I'm buying my it. Man I was, my man was so defeated when where's he said that. Where the, where the fuck is Duke Nukem? Right! Oh, oh my team. god, dude. Duke Nukem Ooh, should be on fighter. there. That's the only reason. This, right this is there, a dope fighter. puzzle game. Intelligent Cube? If you guys have never I've played heard of that, that, it's is really that, good. Is that like Minecraft? Uh, no. 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 It's, a, it's like a puzzle game. It definitely is a puzzle game. Because you said Cube, right? Rayman is a pretty good choice. They had Resident Evil's director's cut, which is okay, I guess. I mean, director's cut is tight, man. Now, right now, I'm already so, playing the RE1 remake anyway, too. So hit so. us with the price point for this thing. Uh, I it's think it's $100. $100. So you see, all right, yeah. now, now, Captain, we're going to smooth pass on this, and I'll tell you why. All right, okay, so go all the way up to the mm. top, right? Battle Toshin Arena, I'm down. Right? Okay, Battle Arena Toshin is going to go hard, and you know it. Right. I am actually kind of mad that they put cool, cool borders. Cool borders, too. Everyone loves snowboarding it's games. I but I guess cool I'll borders. take it. Cool Borders is good. I feel like Cool Borders is a good it's a good thing to stick in there since we're not getting a Tony Hawk game. Which we're people not are getting really, a Tony people Hawk are really game. mad about that. Listen, Did that's why yeah. that's actually like they super should take out Cool Listen. Borders and put in the goddamn Tony Hawk game. Bro, you it, need, it's a licensing thing. It's gotta be a licensing thing. Oh, from Activision, right? Yeah. Weren't yeah. they originally the people oh, yeah. who held it? It was never soft in Activision, yes. I have to pause that right there. Did you guys see the th the tweet from Tony Hawk where he's like, no one's recognizing me, and like he's actually legit offended by it? Yeah. Yeah, that thing was fucking great. I get it, but <laughs> Tony horrible. Hawk is irrelevant. The, the last yeah. good Tony Hawk game was literally peep, uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Yeah, but he got no, stopped Thug at, no, was good. Thug so 2. Got at Thug 2 was really fucking good. Okay. Yeah. I, I got to say, yeah, I, I agree. I agree with Banjo. Like what? 100%. You didn't like the Thug series? Uh, I, I think I, no, I, I didn't like it at Fuck all. Fuck you guys! I, Tony Look, Hawk Four was is awful. Yeah, Tony Hawk Three it was, was it was the perfect blend of, of everything before it. I, I got it, bro. That's that's the high point of the Tony Hawk. Listen, series. listen, this, it was hilarious. You guys are when, just uncultured. Swine, I'm not uncultured. Wait, 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 I'm not uncultured. Jump off your board. No, Yo, secretly, nobody nobody knows about Tony Hawk 2X. Have you guys ever heard of Tony Hawk 2X? No. Tony Hawk 2X. Okay, okay. Let me tell you about Tony Hawk 2X. Tony Hawk 2 was amazing, right? Okay. We can all yeah, agree, yeah, right? Yeah. I agree. Okay, so it came out on, like, PlayStation. It came out on, like, I think it came out on Dreamcast. It came out on 64. Yeah. So so the Xbox is one one generation ahead of that, right? So it's Tony Hawk 2 with, with much better graphics. And once you finish the career mode for Tony Hawk 2, you unlock the entire career mode for Tony Hawk 1. What? So you is that get why it's all, 2X? All of Tony Hawk 2's maps... Plus all of Tony Hawk One maps. You know, hold on, wait a minute. Where, where's Plus my Matt a couple Hoffman? New Mac where's maps. my Matt Hoffman BMX shit, man? That it, it, those it, games were great too. Matt Hoffman BMX. Yeah. In the garbage. Fuck you, dude. You I would know. rather have that than Cool Borders too. You know what I there did? was no snowboarding. There was literally no. There was no snowboarding game what before the fuck SSX. Is jumping flash. What the hell is Jumping Flash? So, so obviously, like Flash, Metroid, but obviously, Final Fantasy VII is huh? like the, it's it's the choice. It's, right. that's, it's the that's selling point. That's that's the selling point. It's it's actually the selling point for buying this. For what? Although, where's my Final Fantasy remake? VII. Why would I buy Fuck that okay. remake? That remake's gonna be garbage. It's Damn. Probably. So a lot of people are also wondering what how some of the things in Metal Gear Solid are gonna work, like uh, the oh, Psycho yeah, Mantis. You, you need to unplug the controller and shit. Yeah, during There's the Psycho Mantis. There's a lot of weird shit that's like. We don't know how it's going to work with this. That's going to be hilarious. It's going to come with two controllers, though, no, right? No, it's going to be hilarious for them to figure out because some stuff you had to find on the back of the case. Yes. Oh, yeah. Ain't no back of the case. It's it's the PlayStation well, box. Maybe I've, they might include well, it in the just, manual well, or something. Maybe they're like just assuming. Oh. There, there are, they're, they've, uh, I mean, they're going to have, like, screenshots of the games that are in 
So like that, whatever was on the back of the case, they could still include it on the back of the box. Well, they could because I've possible. seen I've seen them include some of the well, manuals for some of the old school games when you kay. download them on the new consoles. All right, Jumping Flash, I didn't even know that was a it. thing. That's not even a game. I didn't even know that Mr. Driller. You can get that out of here. Odd World is dope. What Rayman? Is. No one cared about Rayman. No, no Rayman no, no, no. Ray 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 is a fantastic Thank platformer. You. Yeah, there have been many fantastic platformers in the Rayman series. Yes, I'm not saying Rayman that there hasn't been. Hoodlum Havoc was my favorite, man. Uh, I, I like Rain Man Oranges. He head ass. Yeah, Ray Rayman that's Two. A good one. Ray, both of the Raymans that just released the new Gen Apes Rayman. Odyssey is in it. Apes Odyssey's dope. That's good. Apes Resident Odyssey's Evil. Right, Resident that's Evil. dope. Let's talk I'm about some high points. Uh, some high points. Puzzle Fighter. Siphon Puzzle Fil Fighter. Siphon Filter. Very Puzzle good game. Siphon, Siphon Filter. Yeah. Tekken Three was my very first Tekken ever, so I'm down. I'm totally down. So I'm I'm, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit curious about the Persona game that's on here. Yeah, we're gonna pass on because that garbage. Get that out of we'll, here. Dude. We'll see. The first couple Persona games were like really really different when they localized them here. Wait, so was I want to know if they like is this like a complete like ground up relocalization? Because there are there's just a lot of content missing from those first couple games. Also, that's where's Crash One? We just got to come on, bro. We just got that ported three times on two different Twisted consoles. Metal. Who cares? All right. I, <laughs> if you're gonna sell me this, now if I, you're gonna sell me this, you're giving me Final Fantasy VII, and Final Fantasy VII is on every damn thing. Man, so I would have loved. You can get it on I, your phone. They should have so done Final Fantasy it, IX. It didn't. It should have been Final Fantasy IX. It didn't Final happen seven. this year. They should have put IX on there as well. Yeah, I think okay, I agree with that. It's you can't release a PS1 well, classic without anymore? putting Final Fantasy VII. But on. they did of this course. without Ape Escape. No, this is all the 20 games. No. You think about no. that. That's because there's no there's no Dual Shock. Oh, you're right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That no. Okay, Ape, see, Ape look, Escape I, actually came packaged with a Dual Shock controller. Listen, I'm telling you. Because you needed one to do the you, controls for the that, cameras. Yes. PlayStation didn't hit its heyday until analog was a thing. You know, it, you actually don't control the camera in, in Ape Escape with the uh, no, with the, the DualShock. The camera controls are just OD. You didn't need to do that. You, uh, you, it, it's like, true. The attacks with the net and stuff, like the, you do that with, with the, the right an, thumbstick. With the, with the right thumbstick, yes. Yeah. Ape Escape is weird, man. Ape Escape, Ape Escape 1 and 2. See, that was a game I never played, but I watched everybody else play. So. You, if you have never seen a speed run of Ape Escape, like, as oh, soon as I'll this video is over, look at it. Cause it's it's awesome. The game is broken. There's a ton of glitches. You can fly, <laughs> just like <laughs> infinitely fly. It's it's dope. I like seeing games get broken. I like want to so play Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal. I am Twisted down for some metal. Twisted Metal. Twisted wild. Metal Three was my favorite. I uh, so four, much. four, four. Wild Arms. So I'm a new gen. I don't even know what Wild Arms is. It's so, a it's so a RPG. Yeah, I, I think I it's pretty highly regarded. Four, so I only played See, like a few. So it's games. cool. So like Final Fantasy Seven and Wild Arms are actually probably the reason to buy this. Um, you know someone's going to hack this. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't condone the legalization of uh, I mean, consoles, but yeah, however, I, I will accept one that has already been modded, though. I mean, you can just go buy an actual PlayStation 2 still. So just I mean, this yeah. is true, they but, you know, them, having... they just a little bit more than this thing is. Or you could buy a computer because, you know. Yeah, uh, most of these games are on Steam. ROMs are kind of still a thing, but they're about to, like, not be a thing. And I think that's why no, but that's the these thing, though, classic like, consoles are starting to become a thing because they're trying to get rid of the ROM websites. Yeah, but like I said, a lot of these games are on Steam. Like, you could go play these and pretty much for really cheap on Steam. Are, are there any other games that you guys think it just, like, should be on here or no, that you're surprised weren't included? Dragon Ball like GT said, Final Bout. Much money, so Stop I only it. I've, oh, my I, God. Okay. You needed, the, like, the modded adapter on the back of your PlayStation to do all that shit, too. Uh, uh, Final Bout was okay. I'm just kidding. Everybody, Final Bout was actually kind of tight. Everybody overlooks Legends. Legends? Yeah, it was a Japanese game, and it was actually pretty dope. Yeah, if it was a final battle, I don't give a shit. Where's Mega Man <laughs> X? Ultimate Battle 22 is pretty decent as well. Mega Man, oh, well, I mean, see, games that were included in, in bundles okay. this final year, like Spyro boys. and Mega Man and Crash Bandicoot, they're not going to be included in this. Honestly, <sighs> I, half I, of, honestly, only, I, I only want to play, on I only want to play half of these games, so I'm only willing to pay $50 Spe for it, to be honest. Which, I mean, like, shit, I, you I got me beat, because I'd only rather remake, play, like, five remasters. games. Can I get this for, like, $10? I, I, I know that we just got Symphony of the Night yeah, on PS4, I mean, I but, but I, I feel like, like it should be on here. Yeah. yeah. I finished Castlevania, so I know the like, lore. That's, that's an essential. No, you didn't. You're lying. I finished Castlevania. You did not flip that castle. Oh, I'm talking about the series. Guys, guys, I really, 
I, I, a lot of people don't know about this series. Um, first of all, it's a From Software game. Mm -hmm. So, like, you, you guys wow. know the From, so yeah. From Software does uh, Dark Souls. Dark Souls and uh, Bloodborne and Which things game? like that. Armored Core. Are you serious? Oh, Armored I remember Core. That. Really? I would have loved to have Armored Core on That's here. insane. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's, that's, that's an early From Software game. And that game is so goddamn hard. Oh, uh, yeah. The, the first Armored Core games are, are difficult, dude. Because you have to have real strategy. You just can't go around shooting in a mech. You'll get fucked you got, up. You got to build your mech for, e for, for each every mission. mission. Yeah. They, they really put some hardcore thought into like that. That's like a, a pre Gundam game before Gundam games were a thing. I mean, those, those are my favorite I, I mean, I'll spend $100 on it. You're going to put but ROMs. I really feel like you could have just got a lot of these on Once we get PS the ROMs, like I mean, PS4, this would be awesome. Just yeah. So, like, segueing into that, like, okay, Nintendo 64 is also rumored to have, like, you know, a console uh, by the end of the year. So. I'm ready for that. As yeah. long as it has Conker's Bad Fur Day on it. Which it should. I'm going to name. Ga See, I'll name games that. I only need that don't Mario. I'll, I'll name games that Mario don't have that don't have Banjo Kazooie one and two. So you definitely got to put Mario sixty four on it. That's you like definitely got you got Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. You got to uh, put Golden Eye. Right. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Diddy Kong Smash. Racing. You got to put Mario Kart sixty four. Right. Smash one. You got to put right. you got to put Smash one. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, Superman 64. No, I'm playing. <laughs> Don't you do that. <laughs> Hell no. Throw the whole Wheel console away. You gotta have that. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of on Fortune the for the classic. 64. Oh, Perfect Dark. That game is so underrated. Yeah, Perfect, Perfect Dark. Dark. Perfect Dark definitely should be on there. That, that game we, is so I mean, underrated. The, it's a rare game, right? Fuck, yeah. Like, just put all the games on See, it. That, according that's, to that's these just people. another. It's another problem where it's like, all the I mean, games. It's that was is Rare going to allow them to use their 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 previous games? Okay, well, okay, take out Perfect Dark. Take out Perfect Dark, put Glover, right? Or Buck wow. Bumble. Yeah. Buck Bumble. You, you know what? Bumble I, fucking, I liked Chameleon Twist, dude. Hold on, wasn't I thought Gex Chameleon Twist into the Gecko was on a, one of those? a solid game. Wasn't yeah. Gex on one of the 64s? Yeah. Gex the Gecko? It was, yes. it, was Gex, it was Gex 64, Enter the Gecko. Thank you. Oh, my God. Like, that game was so good. Like, imagine I actually that, missed that little character. Imagine, uh, what's that game for the PS1? Oh, the Jersey Devil? Everybody's going to want... Oh, my God. Jersey Except, Devil. imagine Gex, but you fall through the floor and everything you play. Right. You guys know they're doing a medieval remaster. Medieval. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was just thinking, why isn't that on the PS1 Classic as well? But... That probably makes more why, sense. Some, why? Of these, some of these games that are why? getting remasters now, prob that's probably why some of them got overlooked. Why isn't Legacy of Cain on this list? Oh, oh my yeah. God. Why Soul isn't, yes, dude. Why yes. isn't Soul Reaver Soul on this list? Reaver. Legacy of Cain 1 and Soul Go Reaver back should up. both be on this Go list. Go back up on this. On, on, on this it's uh, not on, on the side. list, my man. I know it's not on the list. <laughs> but I want to. Okay, so. Take out that. Mr. Take that jumping flash. Jumping flash made it, but <laughs> Legacy of Kane did not. Yeah. Think about is that. that. It said Rainbow. Why can't we get a remake of Legacy of Kane? It has to be copyright something. It has to be some type well, of licensing we issue. We, we've gotten. Why is that not so golden? The, eye, though? the most recent thing that we got for Legacy of Kane um, was that that uh, that arena game. It's it's like a MOBA. No, nah, fuck that. Like, I need Soul Reaver back. Are you talking about Quake? Like a, it's a third person. No, it was a third person. <laughs> multiplayer game where like you you could play as vampires or humans and there were like different classes that you could do and the, it, it was like almost like overwatch or or quake champions but they, it was like legacy of Cain skills oh oh my god did you guys no. ever play blood omen 2 no i did not but i heard it was pretty good it, it's it's okay. really good it's a good adventure game and that's where a lot of the the skills are you talking about vampire <sighs> no no okay. rainbow 6 see bro like like it I said, was it was called Nazgoth. 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 Because wasn't that one of those fallen cities <laughs> in yeah. um, Soul yeah. Reaver? It's the lore, dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nazgoth is is where they come from. That's what I thought. Yeah. So that game was so Rainbow good. Six. I don't know, you guys. I'm still about this. I don't I'm know. all about that there, siphon filter. Right, there's though. a there's right. enough like, there's enough, enough to games South here to Gold justify guy? buying it, but there's just some things that are that were omitted that were like it, it just seemed. Can I get, obvious. Can I get DLC for this? Can can we update? I don't know why they aren't doing DLC for these systems. Because it, it should be fully like updatable. Said, like the That's free They're money for them. Already. Yeah. That is free money for them. But that on top of, like, I don't know. 
Like, 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 I feel like they could just remaster things and put them out on the PS4. But that takes more money th- than for them but to just But they make port. more money. Do you I, know? I mean, I think, the, I, for I think the night, maybe the reason they cheap. won't do DLC is because really? people would oh. really bitch about that. Like, you know, honestly, Grim Fandango was not cheap. Like, all these games that are being remastered I would take DLC cheap. for these mini consoles, well, man. Well, on top of that, you also have to worry about licensing. Like, I'm I mean, assuming that's not cheap as well. Being real with you, like, if this is just like a segue into PS2 Classic, I'm down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, if they need sales for this to pre-approve for a PS2 Classic, take my money in hopes that we get the PS2 Classic. Because PS2 Classic, you're going to need, a, you're gonna need a, a list of no less than 50. Oh, okay. See, yeah, I, I, no, I, was, I was really, no. I was about to say I agree. 200. There's you know, of, you know, play, you know I mean, that, every that console, title on that thing, There's man. a lot of great games you for know. the PS2, but if there's going to be a PS2 Classic, we got to go one step further from the N64. This, and we're, get not the you, we're not giving you another <laughs> melee machine. You, not we're not giving you, you another all, melee that's machine. That's all I need. No, no, all I need is a box that I can plug in. It. I don't even care that it plugs into HDMI. Give me composite output and no, let me just give me a box that, that I can just plug up to a CRT and play melee. Okay, you need to give me <laughs> five GameCube games right now that you would play on the on the GameCube class. Okay, so that melee, Super Smash Brothers melee. Uh, Super <laughs> Smash Brothers Melee for the Nintendo GameCube. See, this is Wait, why Super Smash Brothers Melee for the Nintendo GameCube this released in 2001. Really shit. You know GameCube was a hidden gem with, with lots of great games on it. And no. he's <laughs> only using it to, for, to carry around Melee. For, for, a Nintendo, for an N64 classic, I'm not even saying, oh, just put they Banjo put and Banjo yeah, Tooie on there. Melee is the only thing that I'm they using that handle for. They don't even put That's the That's the only reason I'm they carrying my GameCube around. don't get it. Because it has a handle. <laughs> <laughs> we make God. it, and then he does not get the damn game. Okay, okay. I, I okay. could Can take a GameCube <laughs> Classic, though. <laughs> Let's I, move on. Okay. So uh, we, we got we got L of the Week, guys. We got this new segment. Bye, Smash. L of the Week, guys. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I think we had, like, a couple That's nominations for this. funny that it's over you, too. I'm gonna go, I want my nomination to be last because my nomination is hilarious. So you <laughs> <laughs> want to go first. <laughs> all right, so so I I definitely think it's all the people that stood in line <laughs> at Smash Ultimate kiosks for like three hours on the first L. day. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> he definitely sorry. They're, I was they're, there. The one, they're the ones taking <laughs> the L. He walked in and said he was going to say that. And he was <laughs> I was it. there. Okay, I <laughs> saw these people in line, and I went like straight to the front of the line and was just watching people play. And I'm like, is this what this line is for? And they're like, yeah. Nope. <laughs> you, you stand in line for three hours, and then you get to play, like, five minutes of the game. Maybe. I played that game. They let you play four, twice. I played that game yeah, four times. They let you play two, twice two, two and a half before games, moving right? you out of, like, the area. I played that game four <laughs> times in a 45-minute span. All right, sir, you've had enough Smash. Please move along. Stop. There Stop are children. Well, to be fair, <laughs> you, can, you can get back in line here. if you want it. You are 36. Oh, I, I, please I, go take a shower. I, I, got, I got back in line. <laughs> That should be also another L. Some Someone of y'all, just some of y'all, trying to like host a tournament. They're like, screw this, we're gonna have a tournament, right? <laughs> no, now. yo, they should have just kicked everybody out of the line and made them play in yo. a tournament and charge five dollars for the venue. <laughs> I'll, I'll they a- didn't even tell anybody. <laughs> that would have been OD. Like if a secret TO had like came in and then just had Joy Cons ready to go and was just like, all right, cool, you gotta play. Five dollars for the venue. It's a bracket. Some like dude on People the side like, is just doing this, like shady. Yeah, it's, Yo, I want to be part of the I, bracket. I am a little disappointed uh, hearing from Banjo that the monitor that they're using out at Memorial City Mall is just. Oh trash. no, that hole was definitely 4K. Well, yeah, it was what? a big ass TV, but I mean, like, what oh, yeah. did you expect? It's you knew it was gonna lag, man. man <laughs> okay, the latest. You so knew much, it was gonna so lag. Much, <laughs> there was like so three thousand frames of lag, dude. So much disconnect. It's like thirty years of lag. I mean, I know, I know a few people. Who probably could have run that kiosk better? I don't know. Some people who like know what they're doing in the Smash scene. Yeah, of course like they wasn't gonna branch out to actually get with the it. TO though. <laughs> I, I mean, there are definitely yeah, there, there were definitely ways I'm, to do this I'm not the better. only TO that that would have done it better. Well, you know? I mean, there's just you know not. They I don't think they us. had a TO they at all us. though. Well, you I mean, that's know that's what the reality thing. Is? It, they they should be reaching out to people in the community to make sure that things like this go smoothly. The reality is that this was targeted to kids. This, like honestly, I, I agree. Like, I agree. It's not but who, to but who's who are the players. who are the people who are gonna bitch and go online and just just scream at their screen? This is about sales. They're gonna uh, but get it's bad sales. PR. It really is. Because think about this. It may have been geared for kids, but 
We are the ones who are going to buy the they game. Want no, both they're going to buy the game. They want both audiences. They still they're going to get families. Ki- kids are going to are going to buy it. Yeah, yeah. It's like no matter what. But the they game. have they have to work to get the competitive players. Yeah, no, but that's the thing though. They had the demo at CEO. They had the demo at Evo. They've had the demo at several places. So it's like but they've I mean, already reached those people. I mean, now, now, it's like, now let's get to the now. Commu- now the I'm wondering though. Now I'm wondering though at, at those places. Like, did they actually use monitors that were worth a shit? They were okay. Look, good. I was there. Like, Listen, no, good. You, they oh, used, you couldn't have done that. Like, you could monitors. We all know. CEO. We all know that good. the we all know that the backbone of like what the community is is that it's built off of the casual fan base first. Yeah, and yeah. That's, it's, that's it's what built off of that first. Not to say that, you know, com- being from a competitive mindset, it doesn't matter. But we all know where this spawns from first. You know what I'm that's saying? That's true. That's true. And I think the important thing that we should do is just make sure that um, the community going forward, especially the new people, know that something, you know, like tournaments exist. Weekly bracket. But <laughs> we, people need to know that, you know, it's very important that, you know, outlets like that. Houston, we do have outlets like that. Weekly bracket. But you, I mean, you know, TSN. What? I do say that this thing. <laughs> SU. <laughs> and when they're looking at the competitive players, too, they've handed it out to a lot of the competitive players already. Yeah, of course. So they're, you know, they're like the people that are hardcore players. That need they've to already have it handed in their it hand to them. already. Yeah. yeah so it's that's like, fair. So they're going, okay, the people that are like really influential have already played and are already influencing. I so, haven't played it yet. <laughs> I haven't gotten a so chance like, to play it either. I man. feel I'm sad. I feel I'm that sad. for how many kiosks they had to set up for them to get really good monitors and the chances of their shit getting stolen, like they did what they could. No, what the amount of mall security? Because they, they had I mean, a lot they, of security no, around no, those no, 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 people who no, already had. You this. said With mall man. security? So oh yeah, no, no. they were standing, bro. So they was ready, and they was moving people along. Moving along. They gotta make the game look beautiful too. So they're gonna put it on like you really said, nice mall, big he ass said, screens. He said mall Moving security. On. Hey, hop up real quick, my man. Can you hop up for me? This is what mall security. This is what pat people down from mall security is like. Stand right here for me. My Stand right here. This is, is really this is this is how this is what pad people from mall security is like. Right here, right here we go. All right, come on in. That's mall security, <laughs> bro. Like that. It, it, bro, come on. The, what they gonna do? They gonna shine a mag light in front of my face? Uh, it's called yeah. an ocular pat down, dude. Wow. Some people are trained to do it. Hey wow. man, they can see if you packing in more ways than one. I guess. What is your so L of the week him. since he stole yours? Hmm? What's your L of the week since he stole yours? <laughs> that that was his L of the week. I mean, that they definitely that definitely they was the L, L, L of the week. week. L of the week has to the, – the alternate L of the week is me. I'm going to tell you why. I took so long trying to play God of War that I am now just playing it and finding out how awesome this is. And, like, now I'm having to catch up with people, and I can't talk about it with anybody because everybody's beaten it already, and I'm probably, like, 30% the way Which of the game. God of this, War? Uh, the, the new, new one. one. Duh. Okay, I thought you were talking about all of them. Bro, I this say. No, I mean, like, this game is amazing. I wish game. I hadn't taken so long to actually play it. You actually – you know what? Being real with you, you probably play, played it at the right time. This is probably the right time for you to play it. I heard there's probably going to be DLC for the game, too. Yeah, more than likely. So, like, uh, I'm, I'm actually ready for that. I wish the DLC had already come out. So, I, I would rather have, like, a smorgasbord of stuff to actually play. This so is God of War. Everybody who hasn't well, played it with, uh, like, hasn't played it yet has to hold that L with me. Go God and of, play the damn game. Man. God of War like, is a game that you can definitely put in your backlog, though. So, it's no big deal. I, I, I feel like I agree with your L. I, I, I'm a little bit offended because I, I wanted to share an L with you. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Linda. Have you beat it yet already? Linda, I, just wa- I just wanted to share an L. Li- Linda, <laughs> this is your L now. Oh, so my L of the week. Uh, like I said, I was telling Banjo, I woke up kind of early to try to get the SB Diamond Dunks and did not happen. Uh Website crashed a couple times, and that was my L of the week. <laughs> I was very sad. <laughs> Man, you should have been like, and you should have had a computer me. up it and with a phone. Only me. It was Alex too, so like Alex really wanted the shoes. You see what I'm saying? The t- she didn't want it that bad because she no. should have had like no, two I, computers up with me. like phones and everything. Listen, the process of get, the process of getting like a a, a shoe at from Nike okay. on on release, especially <laughs> something like this. They're a hundred dollar shoes, right? So like, I'm like, okay, cool. Alex really wants them, so like. We wake up really early. We all we have like a whole bunch of tabs open trying to freaking buy these shoes. And then it's like, nah. And I, by the way, we have the flu. So both of us are freaking dying. We're like <coughs> dying. And wake up early, try to get the shoes. Doesn't happen because the freaking websites kept crashing. 
And then the shoes went on sale on, like, you know, off-site for, like, 300 they're like selling for three hundred fifty right now. Hey, oh, fuck you, re yeah. hey, fuck y'all yeah. resellers. To be yeah, honest, hype beast in the chat. <laughs> and then, like, fuck y'all resellers. The, and the thing that really made me upset was like the Supreme Store in California has them in stock, but they won't ship them. So they're like, they have them. You could buy them for a hundred dollars still, but no, you can't get them. Oh, so. hold on, in Cali. Mm -hmm. But get I know enough people in California. Oh, I was different to say I know some people in Cali. Get yeah. at me. Yeah, I'll help so you I was out. like, let's do this. That was my all of the week, was trying to get shoes, and I failed. Banjo. Banjo looked like he got something to say. Oh, yeah. I'm excited because Banjo's all of the week, unlike Vince, I'm not going to steal it from him, but I definitely oh agree with God. Banjo. <laughs> Nintendo. Thief. So I my all of the week is this. Nintendo. So Nintendo. 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 Fuck you, Nintendo. Why are, you suing, why are you suing families $12 million because they had a ROM site open for y'all? Why are y'all trying? Why, why, so, so Nintendo. What happened to cease and desist first? We don't need it. It would have been free. Yeah. The threat of the threat of okay, we're gonna take money from you guys. Would've that would have eliminated it, right? Yeah. Bro. Like if somebody told me, yo, you know, twelve million dollars is a lot of money. I'm like, yeah, you know, that is a lot of money. Do you got that? No. Then shut down your website. You right? <laughs> like how how much harder did that so, have to so, be? So Nintendo um, sued a fam. Uh, like okay, they're a wife and husband, but I assume that they have a child. Since it's Nintendo, so they have to have a family. <laughs> they so have you, to have so, a family. So you sue the family for $12 million, right? So listen, listen. So are people making money off this website? It's, like a, all it's a ROM website, so yeah, no. no, right? So no I mean, money. you say no, but... They could be having ad ads on the website yeah. and ad stuff revenue, like that, yeah. and that's that is a form gets, of money. That's where I would say is the ad revenue where, like, you're going to get sued. Because that's why they took them off the phone. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not came saying off the phones because like, of the ads. Like for, I'm not saying for sure that they they were getting ad revenue, but like it's that is a thing. It's a thing, man. And especially when I you, wouldn't doubt it when you don't have like anything that's generating actual money from your website. It's not like they were charging for the ROMs, right? Mm -mm. They weren't charging for the ROMs, right, Benja? I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Okay, so I highly doubt that they were actually charging for the ROMs. So. If anything, they probably had some type of ad up that was getting them some type so of per-click revenue. So where did they revenue. get the money? Like they had when they came up with the figure for the money that they're asking for. Normally, you have an idea Damages. of how yeah, that's how much it's lo you've lost out on. Because when you go to court and you like, let's say you have to report yeah, damages, you have to go to court and you have to fight it. So they're going, where are you getting this ridiculous number from? And then that's where they go, well, this game costs this much. I got so it this here. many people playing this game cost us this much money. So this game right now is retailing for $100 because they're old games, right? right? So they're like, now all these people playing this has lost me this much money, which is why this. Because you can't just go to court and be like, they owe me this money. So you suing me for Duck Hunt. Yeah, well, Duck Hunt is definitely a game where I feel like... Hey, I won't lie. You're, you're, suing, to, you're suing me for Mac Ryder. Give us, give us the detail report. So look, Banjo. I got it right here. LoveRoms.com and LoveRetro.co were the joint property of couple Jacob and Christian Matthias. Before Nintendo sued them for what they have called brazen and mass-scale infringement of Nintendo's Damn. intellectual property rights, the suit never went to court. Instead, the couple sought to to settle after accepting the charge of direct and indirect copyright infringement, which Vincent will talk about earlier because I agree with him uh, in a little bit because I agree with him. But uh, Torrent Freak reports that a permanent injunction prohibiting them from using, sharing, or distributing Nintendo ROMs or other materials again in the future has also been included in the settlement. Additionally, all games, game files, and emulators previously on the site and in their custody must be handed over to the Japanese game developer along with the 12.23 million settlement figure. Oh, my God. So they God. had so to be making enough money to get that, though, because they settled. They were like, we're going to take this. We don't want to go to court. Yeah, so we don't want well, to. Well, because if they went completely. to court, they definitely would have lost because that is copyright infringement. But yeah, that the, they already the 12, lost. The 12 million figure is like, that's I really, really time, high. Right? And I'm, I'm, I don't want to sit here and be the guy that's like, that's like, because because I'm gonna catch so much shit for it already, mm -hmm. because I, I I gotta say like the way that copyright laws work, guys, like mm -hmm. you 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 have to defend your intellectual property within a certain amount of time, or you you lose your, it's a your fair copyright. use, right? Mm -hmm. It's fair fair use is like when you when you parody something or you're using it for like review, like th those things fall under fair use. None of this has anything to do with fair use. They they 
it's not fair the way that they were using it. And like and you said, it they, too, yeah. like you said, it would, it, it, this is 100% like clear cut copyright infringement. Oh yeah. Right. But Nintendo and these other companies, they, they have to defend their, their intellectual properties. They're forced to, they are literally forced to. And let's also talk about the fact that everybody keeps saying like, Oh, it's a husband and wife, right? Like I, you, you could pick out any, any so random husband, husband or a husband and wife. A husband and a husband. One was yeah. named oh, okay. Christian. Okay, so okay. So, so I don't want to make it's a married couple. Here. It's a married couple. Yeah, it's a married couple. Okay, so so PC it's a right it's, it's it's a it's a married couple, and like you pick out any other rom site, right? Mm -hmm. Rom nation, R.I.P. <laughs> any one of them, right? You, you got to trace it back to who owns it and who's running the site. Yeah. So like. I, I mean, when is it when is it okay to you know defend your intellectual property? Is it like because they're a husband and wife, like that pulls at your heartstrings? So like now Nintendo's a monster. Like it wasn't like Jeff who just sits in his basement <laughs> and like eats Cheetos all the time. Like that that guy deserved it, but but the, <laughs> but the married couple. Well, they had two websites <laughs> too. Like it wasn't only couple. one; it was two right, websites. Right. Oh my god. So. so you 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 gotta you gotta defend your intellectual property and just in general I think copyright laws are they're super outdated they need to be overhauled like a lot of the laws in in our country right mm -hmm. guys like the 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 advent of the internet has changed the way that these laws work and and that we interact with the laws mm -hmm. uh, banjo you were saying earlier like it before the internet it it was so much harder to distribute something mm -hmm. and like you, you can make copies of stuff so easy now yeah. 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 What were those commercials for, like pirating movies? You wouldn't kill them. <laughs> like, like, oh so why yeah, would so you, kill you pirate them? a movie. Yeah, they were so and they bad. were doing that in the front of movies too. Yeah, like before so they show bad. you a movie, you were like, put your camera away, you pirate. Arg, like don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> arg, but, but, you arg. But, but, but like I, 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 <laughs> as a person, like we do a lot of content, and it's like copyrights are very important. I definitely don't I, I agree with Nintendo and I agree with defending your property especially for Nintendo. some of those people that those games were like what they make everything off the money I don't agree with but I feel like it was a number that was thrown out to scare people yeah, yeah. That's right. no, that's, 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 they the definitely deterrent. made them it's an the example they yeah. made them an I, example I, that's yeah. quick that that's why like when you when you get like these they're these not gonna get that money let's be real who has that money they're gonna be like yeah. okay yeah. we're gonna pay this money and they're never gonna pay it and they're gonna just be like in debt to Nintendo forever, but like they made a point. It, it's and just Nintendo makes them come and work at the like the <laughs> factory. <laughs> it's, it's and the baby too is like, did you have a baby? You adopted a child. <laughs> We're taking that one too. It, it is though, just like when when someone sues a company, like mo most of the time, you know, they don't deserve like sixty million dollars or something, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like, to scare, it, it's the, to the, scare other the other companies not to do things like that. Yeah, exactly. And, and it comes down to like the same thing with movies. It's like. People were like, "Oh, there was no harm, blah blah blah." And I'm like, th "I mean, that's just like people getting sued for streaming like movies. It's still someone else's property, and it legitimately, even though most people watch stuff illegally and play games illegally, they sued they, me. It's gonna happen. Twelve million dollars for a Billy Hatcher and the oh, Giant gonna, Egg. I thought he was gonna give us porn. No, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg Rom. They they sued me twelve million dollars. Twelve million dollars for for a GameCube game. Twelve million dollars." That's egregious, but as you said, and what this website said was like, yeah, this is a scare tactic. So yeah. if you out here running ROM websites, Nintendo gonna Shut fuck you with down, the man. ass. And it's, it's I mean, because for a while, like you it's have not to even see how only Nintendo. It's like so many other people too. Well, like, Nintendo has been known to be you aggressive screw too. With EA, EA is gonna come after you. Well, yeah, Nintendo was actually on people's like, case legit, for yeah. uh, Nintendo was on people's case for just streaming Brawl and I mean, uh, what was it, PM? Yeah. For a while. We don't talk about that game around here. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, so this shows that you, like, if nothing else shows well, you like, that Nintendo will come after you, they did it for oh, that. Oh, yeah, you weren't here whenever I was saying that. Like, they, they come after people for using, like, just using their art. Like, you use any other characters and you don't have licensing wow, rights I, and you're so selling come, a certain amount. It's above a certain amount. They'll come how, after you. How come I can't retcon uh, Uganda Knuckles in this game? <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> I should be able to make that game however way I wanted to make that game, but you know. You want to know what game wasn't made the way I wanted it to be made? Fallout seventy six. Oh, stop! <laughs> that's my. That should have been everyone's L for the week. That's, oh. that's not my L. I clocked that game from a mile away. It's Look, garbage. Man. <laughs> no, that they even they, they just... knew they knew it was gonna be so like it came out and I was like, wait, what? 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> literally was like. Wait, and that, that, that game, that game released? Yeah, yeah it's no out. Way. <laughs> <laughs> that game released? Oh, wow. Yeah, they should have, like, I wish they would have taken a Kingdom Hearts stance and hit these boys with a TBA. Like, <clears throat> fuck it. Like, just push it back until you fucking feel like it's ready. Because I don't feel like it was ready. Uh, a lot of the well, reviewers of the game felt like it wasn't ready. And especially when you put out your beta two weeks beforehand and you have a fuck ton of things wrong. It's New thing that surfaced so that was wrong is that negative. there's no encryption on this game, guys. Wow. So someone can actually rip your IP address and your actual local address from you playing the game. Wow. Because there's no encryption. So Bethes don't play the game. Bethesda has never <laughs> done an online game before. Be safe. So they didn't know like what really went into oh, place. Because and we don't live in a society where we do MMOs. Live, uh, let me just say, we do live in a society. <laughs> where MMOs are big, dude. Like, this is <laughs> We don't live in a society. <laughs> I'll fight you. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's Not in say a society. We, we live in an er in like a time where MMOs are everywhere. Like, how do you not consult someone? <laughs> like, with the they game? wanted to do it all on their own, man. Big boys over there. They but had been working boring. years. They, take take like, me home, Country Road. Not the E3, game, bro. The, Leave the game. <laughs> according to the E3 take, conference, take that to the country they've been road working and shoot for it yeah, for how bro. long? And yet they couldn't figure that out. I'm just saying. A lot of the other games are buggy as hell, too. Guys, please don't play this game. If, I wouldn't if you go want, that you, far. If you want to be safe and not get your stuff stolen, don't do it. I would just say wait. I think this is one of those games where you don't buy on release. No. I right. honestly think that Bethesda will see this as a shock it came in their in sales. No one. I know. Well, I but hope that's they clean I it up. I, 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 really I really hope they do, too. I really too. do, too, because I thought it could do amazing things. Because I want to play it, man. And like I said, I think this is a way to like really open up some Skyrim, kind of <laughs> like multiplayer kind of yeah. thing, too. That's Skyrim would not been easy ESO thing. for once. Uh, so All right, guys. I'm ready. I, yeah. I think uh, we'll, let's move on to the, our very last segment here. Yeah. This uh, been the saving this one for the last yeah. because it's I mean, it's the it's the gray cloud hanging over everybody right now. Yeah. And we didn't want to spoil the mood, but. I came home and like literally I hadn't checked my phone all day because we're not allowed to uh, have our phones on the sales floor. And I just listened to music, didn't check Facebook or anything like that. And then I get home and then I see someone say, Rip Stan the Man. And like I didn't like from that moment, I didn't want to check the rest of Facebook because I was like, please let this be another yeah, prank. Hoax, yeah. Yeah. Because you know how they, like, they'll, mm. they'll put like, you know, uh, Linda passed. Buy a grocery store today, you know, <laughs> on the way yeah, home. And yeah. it's like, oh, yeah, you got me. You got me. But, yeah, I was really hoping it was something like that. And normally um, the death of a celebrity or a known person doesn't really affect me. Because, I mean, let's be honest. I, I don't know them or their art or whatever they did. Usually doesn't affect me. Uh, maybe less artist that actually passed that affected me was Mac Miller and Triple X Tentacion. Like, those were the last two, like, lyrical artists that just passed a little while ago that I was very saddened by. I cried like but a baby when David Bowie died. When, when I got home and actually confirmed that Stan Lee was dead, a tear instantly. Like, I didn't boo-hoo, I didn't, like, super cry. But the influence that this man has had over an entire generation and creative design and just writing. And yeah, I mean, he's had, he's had a lot of impact on all of our lives, even if we don't realize it. Pop culture wouldn't be what it is. Yeah. Let's yeah, be real. Sure. Yeah, he definitely opened the door for that. Like, when it comes to, like, nerd. Kirby and, and him, Kirby and Lee, man, that that was a dynamic duo for creating. And it was, like, it was crazy. It opened the Kirby. door for all of this, to be honest, to be real with you. Like, nerd culture wouldn't be nerd culture if he didn't, like, you know what I'm saying? Like The he, landscape like, would definitely be different. Like, comic books were like this, you know, this, like, this underground thing that, like, we kind of, you know, as geeks and nerds or whatever, people who enjoy comic books and storytelling, we kind of had to, like, make it our own. You know what I'm saying? But then it was just, like, as of recently, like, the last couple, like, the last few years, like, when the popularity of superheroes started to be, like, a thing, it was just like, okay, he's still, like, he was still the front runner of that. And he was making cameos and coming out and, and stuff like that, too, He was making sure man. that things were done the right way. Yeah. Like he, and it's cool that he, he had, had a, a very big passion and for influence, all his characters. Man. I was, um, <coughs> the one thing that I always really took from, like, him in general was how much he cared about characters. Like, 
every character had a flaw. Every character was a human, was something real. Like, you could relate to them because they had these human aspects of not being perfect. Even, like, when you think of, like, you know, I can't. I can't really even think of a character where I'm like. Oh, Amazing wow. tales when they came up mm-hmm. with Spider Man. Like some of the characters yeah. didn't even start off in their own universe. They started off yeah, like, as a part right. of someone else's thing. And, yeah. You know, and then they they just branched off and made everybody flesh out one at a time for us to actually care about them. And I think Stanley and everybody I, on his staff just really had the same passion that he did and carried that over. Into the books, into the literature, into the characters, into us, man. So this dude had his hand in just about like everything since I was since I was like a kid. You know what I'm saying? Since like I remember turning on Foxbox when I was like six, and it was just like, oh, the first thing on is like, oh, the Spider-Man the animated series with the when Spider-Man was owned by Fox, and oh, X-Men is coming on after that, and it was like, oh, right. Fantastic Four is coming it's on after that, man. and it's just like... Fantastic stories, man. And then, like, the first fighting game I ever played was X-Men versus Street Fighter, oh so, my it's, God. so it's just that like... That was the first fighting game I yo. ever played, too, and it was at a laundromat, and yeah. I remember the only reason walking up to it that I played it was because of the characters. Because I was like, these Wolver- are characters yeah. I grew up watching, and like... And you finally get to fight and play with Sunday, them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like... I mean, every laundromat I think in in town had that. Had like, I, I've had this story with so yeah. many people. Like my like, that's that's the game that, that I think most people remember playing. No, like, if you I have to go home and play some kid. Marvel two tonight. I didn't know like you know superhero. I didn't think superheroes were ever gonna be like the hype. Like when you, know you even think of FGC yeah. hype, like the biggest hype in the FGC has come from Marvel. Like the some of the most iconic fights in fighting games. Which if you guys know us, you know that we are from the fighting game community have been from Marvel matches, like Yipes versus Justin, and, like, those characters is watching them do this. Like, there's just been so much that has been affected. And, like...